In this next video, we're going to calculate the kinetic energy of a gas molecule. First, we're going to come up with a general equation, and I'll show you an example of how to calculate it. So we start out with the equation for the root mean velocity of a molecule, which does depend on the temperature and the mass of the molecule. We also know that the, oh, and by the way, so this would be in terms of the gas constant and the molar mass, this is equal to K divided by the molecular mass, where K is simply the gas a constant divided by Avogadro's number. So if we now also realize that the kinetic energy, and I like to use K, Ke for kinetic energy, is equal to one half the mass times velocity squared, and of course we're going to talk about the root mean square velocity, then how does that relate? Okay, well since we know that VRMS is equal to that, that means that VRMS squared is equal to this with the radical removed, because we square both sides, so this gives us 3 kT over the mass, and we'll plug that into our equation right here, so the kinetic energy is equal to 1 half times the mass times 3 kT over m, and then notice that the m's cancel out, and so simply said, kinetic energy of a molecule is equal to 3 over 2 times k times t. And that's an interesting result. Because now what it's telling us, that it only depends on the temperature of the gas and not on the mass or anything else. So in any gas, like let's say this room that's full of air and it has oxygen molecules and nitrogen molecules and argon and carbon dioxide flying around all different directions, all of the molecules, even though they have different speeds because they have different masses, all have the same kinetic energy, each molecule. And that's an amazing result. So let's say, for example, uh, in this room, where the temperature is about 293 Kelvin, about 20 degrees centigrade, what is the kinetic energy of a single molecule? So the kinetic energy is equal to 3 over 2 kT. Now, since I don't remember what k is equal to, I can replace k by r over, divided by the Avogadro's number. So this is 3 over 2 times r divided by Avogadro's number times the temperature. Of course, you can go to your textbook and find out what k is equal to. I just like to remember as little as I need to. And uh, when we plug in the numbers, so this would be equal to 3 over 2 times R is 8.315 joules per mole times Kelvin times the, t the temperature, which is 293 Kelvin. And Avogadro's number is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So let's see what we get here. So 3 halves is 1.5 times 8.315 times 293 divided by 6.02 e to the 23rd equals and the kinetic energy at room temperature of any molecule in the air is equal to 6.07 times 10 to the minus 21 joules. Of course, kinetic energy is in terms of joules. And that's how you calculate the kinetic energy of a molecule in a gas. All you have to know is the temperature and look up the constant and your business. That's how you do that.